Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash the like button and please do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. You can do a phone call or a text message reading with me. Um, yeah, let's get into this and see what messages are showing up here for you for March. So you're starting with paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. You have the clock. So progress, things moving forward, and you also have boat, receiving what you need. Wow, nice Virgo. Progression, arriving, moving on, maybe some closer, closure issues. Um, all right, let's take a look at paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness. Okay, there's a giving energy showing up here in March. Definitely an energy of... Um, somebody learning how to be less selfish. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Somebody learning how to be less selfish. Okay. You could have um, a connection with someone who works in a school cafeteria, or that might be you. They just told me, but let's take a look and see. Um, some of you also might be going back to school, receiving some money or a loan. Um, uh, maybe school abroad as well. I just heard somewhere where it's kind of like nice and sunny and like a real warm tropical kind of climate. <clears throat> uh, let's take a look. Also, as far as like a relationship goes, though, it feels like there might be some long distance travel and um, someone becoming, I'm just hearing less selfish, giving more, learning how to be um, more sacrificial, I guess is the word. Something along those lines. Let's see here. Okay, so you have the magician. So that's Gemini energy there. Oh, and the Queen of Swords. There's definitely somebody who's going to be communicating with you in March um, about travel or making some plans together. Um, so someone, like I said, I was mentioning a tropical uh, climate. Somebody could live in a tropical climate, you or another person. But I feel like you're going to get some kind of communication from someone in regards to like, okay, so um, something about figuring, figuring something out. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, perhaps. Um, yeah, there's something new that's beginning here. Manifestation, something new. You also have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy showing up here. So I feel like um, overall there is a message where somebody may have... Um, Seek, okay, so they're saying looking at options, how to figure something out, how to do something, how to how to spend time together to be with each other. Um, I feel like there may be someone here who doesn't have a lot of time because of other responsibilities or doing something new in their career, their work, and giving a little bit. But there is some type of communication that comes through in regards to connecting with this person and making plant future plans together yeah here's the fool okay so definitely an energy of travel you could be in a long distance relationship or you and your person could currently be close to each other and kind of like taking off moving forward in like a new adventure together um I, i'm just hearing there's something to do with having to wait um because there's t there's an energy of needing to expand but not being able to but i see that actually starting to happen there's expansion coming in regards to a relationship with you and someone else so if someone is moving or relocating for school or a job then it, it's kind of like two people going together making these plans to go together somewhere it's very beautiful energy it, it's progress. I'm, I'm picking up like there's some type of progress, which is why you have the clock here. And even the boat is also about progression and moving forward, traveling. Okay, so let me just let me just take a look here. Let's look at the clock and see what more 
can be said about this taking some time so there's like this cycle this shift and that's kind of why i was feeling like there's this weight energy um someone needing to heal some stuff or finish or close some cycle of some sort in order to be able to move forward move forward together let me see okay so got justice that's libra energy there <clears throat> being fair making something right let's see okay yeah so there's a heavy burden that somebody is carrying at this time it could just be work but feeling exhausted not clocked out yet <laughs> it's kind of like i'm hearing as soon as as soon as i clock out i'm free so someone is i feel like there's an energy someone is currently inundated with some type of physical labor or work they're coming to this like they're completely exhausted trying to finish something here could be you you can change the you reverse the role but it's kind of like I get a sense of someone's like, okay, as soon as something is finished here, then it's go time. As soon as something is completed, you know, like 15 more minutes or 15 more days is something along those lines. Yeah, and then here, here, here's the love offer. And then it's like, okay, let's do this. Let's go forward. So there's a lot of energy of like making plans for the future is how I feel. Okay, I love it. I love it. Yes, there's the Ace of Wands. So this is having a new start, a new beginning, planting some seeds. So to be able to like, you know, the 10 reducing to the one. So it's like finishing up what needs to be finished. And then having this free time with the fool to start some type of new beginning together. Okay, as far as love goes. So there's a lot of responsibility right now that someone is, either you or your person, are trying to tend to priorities other than the relationship, okay? And there will be some communication about making some plans and even something about, like even with the Six of Swords, which represents moving or relocating, coming out of the comfort zone or the place where someone feels stuck and, and transversing that energy into a new, better, calmer, more peaceful, you know, work-free kind of situation here. And even with the Ace of Wands, you know, that's having a new start, a new beginning, some new growth. Um, hmm. Wow, they just said, Virgo, do you, do you think that your person is non-committal and it's you thinking about breaking up? I don't feel like that's really the case here. I don't I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like someone is inundated with priorities. No, I know. They're not making me a priority. Well, you know, people got to work. People got to eat. So if that's your scenario, that's fine. <clears throat> and if someone has told you, this is not a good time. Um, as soon as I'm finished here, then, you know, we'll make our plans to, you know, do what we need to do. Or you have said that to another person and they think you're not interested in them. And that's not the case at all. You have, you know, a, a, a work project or maybe you're a, maybe you're a physician. Those, those, your job is very important. Or you are, maybe you work in law and you're on a case or something has got your time and uh, you're hoping that your person will not give up on the relationship because of this you know um i don't feel like someone is intentionally putting you off uh, i feel like someone wants to try to make things right and I've, i'm getting a sense of hoping that you will understand that and as soon as the clock strikes a particular time and they're ready to clock out then then that there will be an opportunity to talk about this. So you could also be dealing with a Virgo, another Virgo, an Aquarius. I think I said that. And then here you go. Got the boat. Receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, moving on. Close your issues, get closed. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's all about patience, waiting for something to end here. I feel like this is a very positive message. For, for for one of my Virgos here, 
if you and another person have been waiting to start your lives together um, <clears throat> or resolve some things, uh, it looks like it's going to be resolved. You got Pisces and Scorpio there. It looks like some things are going to be resolved here, whatever the obstacles are that are blocking the way forward. Um, things are going to start freeing up. Time is going to become um, more available. There's this paradise. This is at the end of the rainbow here, and it's just kind of like waiting for the energy to kind of dissipate so that two people can start their lives together. I do feel like that's coming forward. Let's see what else. Okay, yeah, plans and ideas. Absolutely. Communication about, you know, money as well. Um, buying a house, traveling, things like that with someone. Buying a boat maybe, or maybe two people deciding to go live off like, what am I trying to say? Uh, live on a boat, <laughs> travel the world, that kind of energy. Um, so there's a lot of communication and talk that has to do with money and finances in regards to a relationship here. Let's see what else. Oh, wow. Even commitment, marriage, traditional type of relationship, traditional marriage. So Taurus energy there. So I kind of feel like, you know, if somebody, if there's another person in your life, or if it's you, uh, there's this need to, um, someone needs to be very patient with another person. Somebody's kind of sorting things out, working things out, finishing things up, trying to gain some clarity, focusing on things. Um, and there might be some separation due to that. And, you know, either you or your person, there's like, bit of a concern someone can't commit to a relationship at this time and there is this energy of like someone else is feeling like okay if they can't commit i'm gonna end it i'm gonna break it up might or thinking about that or feeling like someone is ghosting them and i hope that's not the case i hope that someone like whoever you're dealing with was direct with you and said to you hey this is what is going on and as soon as i'm finished we'll have this time if if someone did not say that to you or you didn't express that directly to another person if it was indirectly expressed there might be more of a need to read between the lines and try to um, see a situation logically so i so that so with the knight of cups i do feel like there is an energy of love here and i do feel like either you or another person once something is sorted and the, the whatever another person somebody is dealing with is sorted that situation out then there will be this freedom to move forward together okay anything else that spirit wants virgo to know in regards to this let's see what else does spirit do you want virgo to know in regards i do see two people committing to each other okay so they're just saying for you virgo you know, if it's if you're the one who's focusing on, you know, you got these priorities, business, money, career, um, things that you needing to stabilize or sort out, you know, good for you and um, stay committed to that, whatever it is that you need to do. This other person, um, if you're dealing with like another earth sign, this other person is also trying to see things logically and getting themselves stabilized as far as um it's just finishing up with other work they're very they're very concerned and focused on their coin at this time so it could be career or just their future career that kind of thing I, I don't get a sense that there's like a lack of love or a lack of desire or anything like that I'm not feeling that Oop. wow card just flipped and where'd it go oh good that's a good card to get Cancer energy there, the chariot. Things will begin moving forward. Absolutely. Someone will be coming back or returning home. Um, that's an 11-11. Going the distance. Committing, if that's something that you're looking for. Or it's you. As soon as something's finished here, you're on your way towards that. So it's a very positive message as far as, you know, I don't know. Let me just take a look. I'm going to see. Because I kind of feel like you might. If you're the one who is 
listening to this reading and this is your person. I mean, I did feel, okay. So there, there's a lack of, yeah, you're kind of in the dark. I feel like you might feel like you're in the dark. I don't know if you actually are, but there's this energy of like, hmm, what is going on? What is going on? The moon reflects, but the moon, you know, it's not, it's not the brightest card in the deck, right? So <laughs> it's kind of like, oh, things are a little shady. I don't really understand. I think maybe your emotions might be getting to you and you're trying to stay stable, trying to um, stay grounded, stay independent, try not to let your, your, I don't, I feel like your emotions might be a little intense. You might be feeling some intense emotions about this, not knowing what's going on, but I I don't see you really showing that. They're kind of hidden. You're keeping your feelings to yourself as far as in dealing with another person. You're not really, you might not be saying anything, but also if it's you who's going through this situation right now where you're trying to, uh, if you're needing space, so you're trying to figure some stuff out. Um, you're not, I, I don't see you like putting your feelings out there. You're trying to internalize, understand how you're feeling about some, some things, right? Or how you're uh, like, you're, you're definitely staying on your own here as you sort through your emotions and some things are coming to light. Okay. You're getting some little peekaboo kind of ideas or understandings about what your emotions are telling you let me see what else does this mean okay so hmm it looks like so if it's you who's trying to sort some stuff out you're not exactly ready to come into union with someone yet until you figure out maybe how you really feel about someone or keeping your emotions down so you can focus on your work and things like that. If you're a Virgo, that your emotions tend to run you. Um, but you're, you're very stable. You're staying very stable and you're showing that outwardly. Okay. And even if this is someone that you're dealing with who's got their priorities that they're dealing with, um, you're not pushing them. I don't see you're going to be pushing them. You're trying to maintain some... <clears throat> How do I want to say? Composure. You're not really letting your emotions get the best of you. You're internalizing things, trying to. I, I, I'm not really sure. It's like you're you're kind of like you you're defending. You want this relationship. You want this two of cups. Um, but you're not really pushing back. You're just kind of standing your ground, not trying to emotionally react to something. Um, maybe because this person isn't making you a priority, which, you know, you maybe you come to an understanding. I, I feel like you kind of come to an understanding. I feel like you're maybe try, not trying to let your feelings, you know, you're understanding them and not trying to give someone a hard time for the fact that they have to go to work, <laughs> which I hope that you're, I hope that you're, um, you know, not giving someone a hard time about that. But I also feel like you're trying to trust in a process here. There is this energy like you do want to be in union with someone. Okay, you do. You're just not pushing that because some of you really are. Yeah, see, here's the lovers and the queen of cups you are definitely trying to understand how you're feeling and someone else too i feel like they have really deep feelings for you but they don't show it all that much gemini energy also cancer scorpio pisces they don't show their feelings all that much but i do see like with the lovers there will be like a coming together here you two are divinely like divinely meant to to have come together okay so i mean i think it's good I think it's good. Let me see what your messages of love are here. Wow. <laughs> There's a twin flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. Yeah. So, I mean, Virgo, like, 
I do feel like this connection here, there's just, it's a timing thing. But I do feel like you guys, I, I don't know, I just keep picking up. Oh, I see two people on a boat sailing the world together. <laughs> Look, fate. This is a destined partnership. So what are you being required? What What's being required of you at this time is patience and, you know, trying and, until something is finished here and to two people to be together whatever the other person's priorities are it doesn't like at the end of the day when we just kind of pan back at the whole situation it's really just about timing and it's mostly like okay just exhale i feel like two people just need to exhale i do see you guys are going to come together you might feel like there's rejection here um as well you might if there's like if you and your person are not together you might be feeling rejected or they feel like you're rejecting them because they're rejecting you like it's i don't know are you two communicating i don't really feel like i feel like there's a desire to communicate with the queen of swords wow you've got awakening so there's two people undergoing a very spiritual transformation here yes and that's why the hanged man was there there is an energy of like Awakening to I'm just seeing like the sun coming up, you know what I mean? Like in the morning, like it dawns on someone that they want to be with you or that they're intending to be with you and that, you know, as soon as they're finished with whatever's going on, whatever they're sorting out, whatever's got their just their attention elsewhere. As soon as they sort that out, there will be this healing energy between you and this person. So it feels very positive. I just kind of feel like you're being asked to, which I feel like some of you are already doing, is to just be in this homeostasis kind of energy. You know, just exhale, just wait for that energy to appear, the, the energy of you and this person connecting and coming together or coming mostly uh, it feels like it's a relationship that's already established okay so you've got yes luck is on your side so everything is going to work out for you and this person there is going to be like a coming together future wise and i could take a look and see when that possibly might be happening okay you do have air sign and you do have they'll be back so expect to hear from them soon. So it could have a connection with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or it could be you somewhere in your chart. Okay, let's take a look and see when there may be a return this year. What month? Okay, in May. There will be a return in May where things begin to kick off and start happening. So a couple of months, right? Okay. Let's take a look and see what someone's Chinese sign is here. You or this person? Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Chinese sign. Oops. Okay. Year of the Rooster. Year of the Pig. Year of the Monkey. Oh, Year of the Snake. Year of the Rabbit. Year of the Ox. Year of the Dragon. And Year of the Goat. Okay. So if that resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, don't sweat the small stuff. All right, let's get into and see what. Oh. Okay, so we have the letter M. Uh, Liam. Perhaps someone's name is Liam, the letter L, the letter A, Mallory, um, someone is 46, 46, all right, someone is 30, someone's born September 7th, 1964, okay, someone's born in January, oh, someone is 40, we have 1983, someone is 44, someone's born in 1974, someone is 54, uh, something seven years, it's been seven years, um, 
Um, yeah, I'm definitely picking up Mallory. Oh my gosh. 1967. Someone's born in October. We have August 31st. We have September 15th. Someone is 37. Someone's got the letter X in their name. <clears throat> Greg. I'm hearing Greg. Okay. Someone's born in 1990. We have the letter P. The letter E. We have Peg. Peggy. <laughs> or Peg. No, I'm not going there. The letter N. Someone's name is Queen. Um, somebody is September 21st. And let's see, 1957, or someone is 57. The letter, or someone lives in where there's a lot of pine trees. Someone's initial, the letter I. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeannie, or yeah, Jeannie. Jeannie, I just heard Jeannie. We have May, M E A, they're saying. Okay, let me see what else I can pick up. Maya. Paul. Ian. Nellie. September 4th, they just said. Did I say that already? September 4th is somebody's birthday. Um... And the number, okay, so they're giving me the, an area code, or no, it's a zip code, 46304. And somebody's phone number, 7415-2157-6790-7464. All right, we have Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, and Taurus, who you might be dealing with. Pisces again, three times. One, two, three. My goodness. Taurus again. And Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Okay, someone's Gen X for sure. Someone here is definitely Gen X. September birthday. September 3rd. All right, let me get your charms. Okay. Wow, the turtle. Sea turtle. Yay. Um, okay, somebody lives by an ocean, of course. Uh, did you see a sea turtle? Have you seen? Or is there's a sea turtle on a beach? Are you seeing turtles somewhere? Are you seeing turtles a lot? You, if you're seeing turtles a lot, then there is a message in here for you somewhere. Um, let me see. What else can I come up with? Um, I think turtles can survive nuclear. Turtles can, is that true? I think I saw or I heard that somewhere. Turtles can survive nuclear fallouts. I don't know. They're ancient though. They, they live such a long time. So for some of you, this is a relationship that's been going on like forever and ever and ever. Or it may feel that way. Okay. Now there's a little girl. This looks like Alice in Wonderland here. This little girl. I also saw a unicorn two times. Okay. So. Let me just show you this. Okay. This, yeah, the, I feel like there's something to do with Alice in Wonderland. Uh, I never saw that. Can you believe that? I never watched that, that cartoon. Or that Disney movie. Um, so I don't really have much to say about that. But I, I do feel there's some connection. Someone here has a connection to that story. Or to... Uh, okay, now they're just saying Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. Okay. Um, let me see if I can get another charm for you guys. While we're still here okay oh what is this does this have any listen you guys need to tell me there's a rabbit here <laughs> i don't know what's going on is that part of alice in wonderland 
this rabbit with like it looks like he's got like the uh, deck of cards the suits the hearts the spades the clubs the diamonds is that Alice in Wonderland I, even if I did see it I honestly cannot remember it there must be some kind of connection to that I don't know what I, I know that was like kind of a really trippy cartoon kind of thing and oh you hear all that noise oh my goodness and you also have a camera here there's a camera so it could be something to do like you take pictures or maybe you're a photographer or something you take some very interesting pictures hold on a second you guys there's a guy outside power washing my place okay so uh, yeah there's a camera here something to do with pictures pictures of you or you're taking pictures of someone or other people or you're a photographer you work with a camera or you do something along those lines I don't know, these messages are kind of odd so let me just give you some Chinese messages to end your reading so it's a little bit of a bonus here okay so you have friendship a friend needs your help your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track and you also have oh nature interact with nature in the outdoors around animals farmlands or by the ocean this will be good for the soul and healing for you nice and you also have health an excellent time to start an exercise program or diet many new friendships are also on the horizon for you virgo i'm going to do a couple more all right you've got difficult times be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold Ooh, i feel like that has a lot to do with like if you're in limbo right now um just be prepared for your feelings um, because I feel like they might be overriding your thought processes. Reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease on life. So I feel like if you go back to yesterday's reading, you, there might be some negative thinking and things like that, that, you know, what we think we do. So um, watch what you say. Watch what you speak out into the universe, into the world. Thoughts become, what's the word? Thoughts become, feelings become thoughts thoughts become actions so um yeah 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 i'm gonna i'm gonna leave that there um and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoy this i'm gonna ah, i have to get out there the power wash is coming so um, i love you guys thanks bye see you later bye hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.